welcome to episode eight. Eight. Good Lord, where's the time gone? Um, we are um, Wool is the Answer. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Um, you can find us, anybody who's new to um, watching us, you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Ravelry, all as Wool is the Answer. Yeah. Um, we are looking at, there must be some other places we can probably get on to. Um, we still need to get our head around social media yeah, a little we do. bit. We've we? been talking about that today. Yeah. So if there's anybody out there who would like to help us to yeah, middle aged women to bim yeah. bimbling through. Yeah. We sort of know what we're doing, but we haven't really got a clue. We could do with some guidance. So we are looking for somebody to um give us a bit of a hand yeah, with we are. um how we promote ourselves and um getting us out there. So if there is anybody, drop us a line. Get in yeah. touch. Yeah. We will pay in wool yeah. or in money yeah yeah you're not you're not going to be able to leave your job to do it but no. um, a little bit of help yeah we might find somebody like me anyway and and we keep forgetting to say we've not said this is episode eight and we've never said if you like the video please subscribe oh yes subscribe on we YouTube. do get subscribers yeah. so people clearly know but yeah. if you like it subscribe exactly um i'm currently sat with my fingers in ice cubes look what i've done been dying wool today Burnt my fingers, I don't think you can see. Oh, but Both two fingers. Knitting fingers. So I'm sat with them in ice at the minute before That's I put because we've on. gone from dying at the studio where we can never get the heat Shh. that high Shh. to dying in a different location. Yes. Yes. Different location where we might have had yes. like household power. And it got yes. a bit, and Marie forgot and got a bit. I've got a bit carried away in my rubber gloves. I keep thinking that they're um, Teflon coated, but well, they're not really. Well, you can only pick everything up with them, that's why. Yeah, so I burnt my finger, yeah. Twice. They'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been dying the last of coral reef today, so we've done quite a lot of that, nearly 30. Yeah. With um, bits and bobs. So, um, and that won't be enough. No, it never is. We, coral reef. Every time we die, we think we've died. We Coral reef just flies out, yeah, doesn't it? Does. it? Watch it. No, you bite this time. Yeah. And, I mean, we've already said, not only is it in full play. Double knit. Double knit. We've um, updated the website with a few new colours, which we're going to show you. We will show you, today. yeah. Um, we're not putting double knit on the website no. yet, because we've only got a limited amount, and we did say we would take it to Yarndale. It was for Yarndale. Yeah. So you'll see it at Yarndale. Which, four weeks away? So, it's not long, is it? It is. It's this well, it's weekend. It's got to be. It's got to be four weeks this weekend. Flipping it. Where's this year gone? I know. I can't believe how quick it's gone and all the shows we've done. But So, the double knit, we are saving for Yarndale because yes. we wanted to launch at Yarndale. Yeah. But um, whatever whatever we've got left, if we've got any of it left, we will. Yeah, we'll go on the website. We'll get updated. I've got it all, it's all being photographed and ready to go. So, yeah. as soon as we can, we'll put it on the website. Um, but we've got a few new colours to show you today. These um, are on the website anyway, aren't they? Four ply colours. are on the website, the four ply colours. So we'll show you some um, of that in so a little show while. You some of those. Um, yeah, we've been, we've been, we've had a busy couple of weeks yeah, dying. Yeah. Lots of wool. I've been fed up with looking at it, to be fair. I think, I'm trying, I think this is probably the most we've died in. Yeah, in a short in space a, of yeah, time. Yeah, it is. I've been winding and the machine was playing up a bit, so that was quite challenging. Because as everybody knows, I've got such a tolerance level for things like that, haven't I? Yeah. But you've got... I've just brought you some more that we dyed last week that I got dried over the weekend. There must weekend. be another hundred there. Yeah, maybe. I must have done about... I bet we've done about 300 to be bald. Yeah, that's just hundreds. Oh. All the minis, I've got all the minis going. If any of you followers on social media, you'd have seen. I've got the back garden set up as a little hub over this bank holiday weekend. Um, so they're all skeined. I ran out of labels, so only some of them are labels. So oh, I've, got... I've ordered the labels. They should have been here yesterday. Mr. Amazon got a message yesterday saying they're going to be delayed, so they should be here today. Oh, excellent. So, um... Um, so but I think I'm at work all weekend. But I think by work at the weekend. I know. By going next on? two full like. 14, 15 hour days as well. There's a big cycle event in Bourne. Oh. So if anyone likes cycling, there's a big festival in Bourne this not weekend. Not Brexit yet then? No, not Brexit yet. But So I'm hoping to have all the minis labelled by next weekend. By which time like, you're the... Uh, I think, so then by then, yeah. with three weeks to go, everything is yeah. done. I've got, I've got that winding to do. I want to try and get it done, but if I can get it done over the next week, 10 days, I'll be happy. Yeah. 
just so I don't have to stand and do loads. If it's nice weather, I can get outside and do it, which is quite good, although it was too hot the other day. Yeah. And I, I didn't realise how sunburnt I got. My feet, all I can see. Oh, dear, I've got dye all over my feet as well. And your, leg, and your arms. I've got it all over my arms as well. Can't see my feet. Let me see if I can get my foot on. I need to see. I wear Birkenstocks all the time. And I've got my Birken... Yeah, oh I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got proper can't. Birkenstock. Yeah. Um, right, I'm going to... I'm going to challenge you to take a picture and insert it. I was just going to try and see if I could bend my leg up and put me put my foot in the in the picture. <laughs> I could probably could. Um, I'll take a photo and I will insert my feet. Because I was laughing, it's a good job that's all I'm wearing. Some of the same style. Yeah. So it doesn't matter because whenever I put them on. But if I was to put another pair of shoes on, I'd look pretty sapless. I've got to say. So it's been yeah. We've had weird weather. We had what? Did you have that thunderstorm? Yes. <gasps> yeah. I think it hit somewhere near here because David was outside cleaning gravel and all of a sudden there was this really loud crack outside, the loudest and all the electric went off. Oh, did it? Yeah, it was Oh, it was fantastic. So I was sat out watching it underneath the gazebo. Yeah, I like a good, good thunderstorm. Well, we had an hour of torrential rain and thunder with no lightning and then we had about half an hour of lightning. The thunder went on for nearly two hours. It must have been over because we literally had... Thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, well, right on top of each lightning other. Lightning strikes at the castle, wasn't there? Yeah. At Lincoln Castle. But it was, you know, when it cracks and it's a really loud yes. crack, it sounded, David said it sounded like it was nearby, yeah. so it scared the bejeebas out of him, because, you know, he doesn't like loud noises. It, but uh, it was a good, but he needed it, but he didn't really cool it. I didn't think he'd cool it the air. down. Oh, the night before was horrendous. Yeah. I, I could have slept outside. It was, oh, I didn't know where to put myself. Well, of course, I had to shut all my windows because of the moths. Oh, yes, because of the moths. I had One got in off. yesterday. Oh, how big? Big. Fortunately, it was in the oh, living room. No, like, big. It was in the living room at about half past ten. All the doors and windows were closed, so I don't know where it came from. So I managed to shut both doors, but I'd left my phone in there. So I could see it on the ceiling, not moving. So I crawled in to get my phone. I'd run out with the remote control in my hand, because I got that in my hand for some reason. Turn, turn the telly off from outside the door. And then just shut all the doors, barricaded them shut and went to bed. And then I've come in this morning and of course I can't find it. Oh, it'll be lurking, waiting till it gets dark. And yeah, well, I, I'm going to sit with a sweeping brush next to me today. I, where do they come from? I don't understand where they come from. But it's been so hot and I've slept with windows closed because it's been so hot. I mean, I do get you them. need to get over this moth thing. I do get them every year, but they are bigger this year than I've ever known them. Or else we'll be finding you, won't we? Woman suffocates in extreme heat because she closes all the windows. Woman sleeps in car overnight because she's got a house <laughs> infested with moths. You've I mean, they don't, one. they don't ever attack the wall. They don't do anything. But they... Do, uh. do they attack you? Do yes. they dive bomb? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think it dive bombed me this morning, but I was a bit jumpy, so I don't know if that was that or... A... I had to go back in because all the wall was in I there. I can just see you like... Oh my god. Boudicca or Bodicea or however you pronounce it, with your with your broom. Sat there waiting to like just swat everything as it comes. Well there you go. Now big spiders. I think I mean there was a, I had a big spider like one of them big, big black hairy ones. It didn't bother me. I mean, I don't want to untouch it, but they don't leave I don't have to leave a room. Moths. Oh they're just I hate them. But at least it was in the living room and not my bedroom, so I could just Shut the door, leave all the lights on, and sort it out. Moths. Yeah. <laughs> shall we Shall we talk about some more? Yeah, let's talk about some more. Right, let me just dry my hands off. Right, so, we, bo we both did three, didn't we? We bought, no, a couple of new colours each. I can't remember what we did. Well, then, well, new colours then. So this is one new colour, and this is called Popsicle. So we've gone quite bright, actually, haven't yeah, we? So this is... Really bright. That's really quite nice, actually. I really like that yeah, one. Really bright. So that's popsicle. Then we've got Palmer Violet. Bit of a sweetie thing going on here. So that's not as bright. But not as bright. But it is still. I mean, it's still yeah. a really. So it's got lots of um, purples and I know pinks we've, and greens. I know greens. we've called it Palmer Violet, but do you know what it looks like? There it looks a little bit sweet pea. -y. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I thought like irises as well. Yeah, I just got on the sweetie theme. So what, what, and what then, else have you got there? The bright ones. I really like that one. That is neon light. That's really pretty. 
That looks very nice. Won't... Why would it focus? There you go. There. It's just being temperamental. It is actually brighter in real life. It it brighter in real life. Like it looks bigger in real life. And then popping candy. I like that. Just with those little hints of the pink in. Oh, that is really. Are really burning. <laughs> that is mainly green with just pops of neon pink. Really pretty. And that electric blue. And then one that's a little so, bit. Yeah. So put them all together. Yeah. The Palo Violets is the only one that's not in your face. But they yeah. are really... Really quite bright and all a bit different, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And then um, we've got this one as well. We've called it Hedgerow. But it's really weird because we did it on the double, ba double base. <laughs> double knit base. I was nearly there. You can sort of see it. But it's come out really blue. More colour on the double knit base. Yeah. But in it... it yeah, it's quite. I mean, it's, it's more, it's very, it's more it's subtle very there. autumnal there. Yeah, very really autumnal. Really autumnal. So um, and then two of the favourites, which have just come out a lot brighter and are much, much brighter. Really pretty. So we've got winter rainbow on the four ply base. Really pretty. And galaxy. Did you do winter rainbow on the double knit? Can't remember now. No, we've done I that didn't. Much. I don't think we've done that. And that's part. the galaxy. Really, I love that galaxy. So they've come out a lot bright. You've perfected your technique, haven't you? Now these, I do both of these, and they're so popular. But I did say when I was doing both of these oh, this time yeah. round, I, 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 no, I wasn't, um, because they make such a mess. They do look nice. They do look really nice. We have said, well, I. Made that one because Fiona, one of the ladies from Knitting Natter, wanted um, this colourway. And I made it, and I was really happy, but the way I made it, it's really, really labour-intensive, time-consuming. And then when you're doing it in bigger quantities, it's not very good. So now, uh, it is the same colours, there's just more colour in it. Yeah, I really so like it. So it. it does look different to the original Galaxy. So Fiona definitely has... The original, yeah, but it does look nice. It's, I really but it, like. There's it. just much more colour. I in love it. it with that. It, it really, yeah, it does. Pop. I think, yeah, I want to knit a jumper in one of those two. Really well, I like mean, that. I've always said Winter Rainbow is one of my favourites. Yeah, and that along with Coral Reef, yeah, goes really well. Yeah, this, but the uh, Galaxy, well, the Galaxy goes really well, and then at Walnuts we didn't sell any. I don't think. Who knows? And then other shows you we sell sell out. So just while we're on, um. We'd had a few people saying they couldn't hear us. Oh, yes. I'm sure some people think it's probably a better idea that they can't hear us. You yes. Know. Um, so we've invested in a new microphone. So we hope that the sound a is... A shotgun microphone. <gasps> Never didn't know anything about microphones, but... <laughs> so you should be able to hear us now. If you can't... Hopefully. Just comment or let us know. Yeah. It was only at Knit and Natter on Saturday when... Sarah said, oh, I think it's because I watch it on telly that I can't hear very well. And then three or four other people went, oh, no, we can't. And I have to say, it's quite often quiet on mine. So let us know. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to hear us much better, which I'm sure you're really pleased about. Um, what have you been knitting? Have you got a well, been knitting? Well, as we know, I've, I'm concentrating on trying to get that shawl done for the um, stall. So... I shouldn't do this. I've oh, stopped. you've stopped. I've stopped mid midway. So I am knitting. Have you just the started world. a row or just about to finish? Um, I've, I've just, just started. started. So I am doing harvest in the walls in um, summer garden, magenta and pearl forest. So there. Uh, you can't see because it's on circular needles and they're really not long enough. So at the minute I've got about 460 stitches on. But it does... So it's going to look really pretty when it's blocked it, out. So this is going, going to be look really pretty. sample shawl for Yarndale. We're just trying to get, like we said last time, a few shawls done in different colours. Yeah. Um, so when I've done that, I think I'll move back on to Dad's shawl. Yeah. Um, but we've had um, Linda, um, one of the ladies that we met at Woolness in yes. Newcastle. Um, lovely lady. Um, she's um, done some test knitting for us. So bear in mind, Woolness was the first of... August. Well, we only sent this no, one out about a week ago. Second, third of August. Three and a half. So we only met her three and a half weeks ago. Let alone we had to dye the wool and get the wool yeah. to her. She's she back. 
She has nipped. I'm at mosaic. I mean, it needs blocking. We need to block them. But it just. I love those colours. Can you see? I Linda, see. you have done an it amazing is, job. It, it is so it's neat. It's so neat. So beautiful. And it's the first time we've got mermaid knit up. So I love mermaid it. is really pretty. There. Just, just go a bit. Look there. there. Look at that. But look, it really. I, I'm quite liking this one. I think I might have to. That might have to come in my wardrobe. I really like that. In fact, it I is. think I'm going to wear it. Look, it's clouded over. It has clouded over. The wind's got up, so let's hope it doesn't rain because all the coral reefs outside on the. Oh yeah. Dry. It's not quite light fine. though. I mean, it, it it does look. We wanted something to show because we've not got any of the mermaid knit up. Um, yeah, I really like it that. Does. I might just sit down like that. With yeah. That on. So thank you very much, Linda. It is. And then um, I've just been rummaging in Dominique's car as you do. Yes. And um, I've just stolen these from her because her mum, Pat, has been knitting um, face cloths, dish cloths. <gasps> but they'll be perfect for washing my face. Well, it started because I knit some. Ta da! I knit some last year as Christmas presents. Got some handmade soap, wrapped it up. With a nice neat I, little parcel. You I don't keep need meaning to, to do some for myself. Tied it up and then, so mum said, that's a good idea, I'll do some for this year. Because I use um, muslin cloths to wash my face with, but I quite like those. So, but mum went a bit bonkers and I think she'd done about 16. So there was a lady at work, Emma, who lost her, I think she said her grandma, last year. And she, we were only talking about when she said, I don't know what I'm going to do, because she said she used to knit all her dishcloths. I said, Leave it with me. Yeah. So she's had there. some, but there's still loads left. So yeah. Marie's just seen them. I've, and I've acquired them. Mum wants to knit. Mum enjoys knitting, but she doesn't want to read a pattern. Yeah. So does. with that, she can knit till she's got, I think it's about 50 stitches. But if she's... She can gladly knit me loads more because I use them a lot. Right, well, I'll get her some more. So What have you been knitting then? Well, oh, you're talking some... of the shows, I mean, these are just like never ending. I really like the colours though. So these really are, pretty. you've seen these before, but they're growing. I can't remember if I put the heel in last week or not, but I put the heel in. Fish lips kiss, what's yeah, it do Fish kiss, lips kiss, kiss. Fish lips lip. kiss heel. So Very I am nice. now just on the leg. I like them. Really pretty. I, I have to say, I really like them. Really neat. I love that ice gem. It is ice uh, gem. Ice drops. Ice drops, thank That's you. Me, yeah, sorry. it is ice drops, and I think I'm gonna do the cuff in Ooh, the yeah. ice drops yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, that looks nice. That's why I did mine in when I did the contrasting. Yeah, I did them the opposite way around. So mine was patterned, patterned. Oh yes. Sock and then um, so that plain. that yeah heel toe and cuff was plain. Yes. Yes. Nice. So I'm knitting them two at a time, so they are the same size. Oh, I've quite a good but knitting. Sock line, won't There's we? the berry drops with the at yarn deal. Yeah, we will. So good. I mean, I feel like I've knit on them, but I've got three and a half weeks. I mean, I'll get them done. Or oh, you sure? You were sure because yeah. we've been knitting that today. We had a nice group today, didn't we? Yeah, oh, we also have a nice group. We had a new lady joined us. Um, it was lovely. It yeah. was really nice. Um, What's a cake? Might have, had, might have had to have some brownie, chocolate brownie with salted caramel. I mean, that the vintage tea rooms at Tealby. Oh. If you've never been, you've got to in your live in your locals, Lincoln, yes. obviously. Um, oh yeah, cakes. she's shut on a oh. Monday and Tuesday. I think she's definitely shut on a Monday, and I think she's shut on a Tuesday. Oh, the but cakes are to. Oh, well, there's quite a few of you had the chocolate brownie with salted caramel. Yeah, it was really tasty. You've just got a little money spider climbing up here. Oh, that's good. Maybe I will it's win. Gone now. Maybe I will win the. Uh, Maybe you will win the lottery. One hundred and seventy million pound on the Euro lottery. Have you got a ticket? No. Oh. But I think maybe I should go and buy one. Yeah. I think I might be nipping down to see Steve. It, it might be in the might be in the shore somewhere. But oh, so can you imagine one hundred and seventy million pound? You no, can't. I can't imagine it. Buy a new shed to dye the wool in. I think might I even build, build a little house. I think build. that could be a purpose-built house. With I'd, I'd build your house, Dominique, for £170 million. Pound. With a shed? Yeah. I'd like one of those swimming pools. I like swimming, so I'd like a swimming pool. 
a proper swimming pool or yeah. one of the... Well, if I win £170 million, yeah, I think I can, can afford a proper swimming yeah, pool can. instead of one of those little... What are they called? Resistance pools. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. That'd be quite nice. I mean, they're fine. You can't... I have been in one of them and you do swim properly, but... Just think how much wool we could buy with that. But... But what? You'd have to do something. You couldn't not oh. do anything, could you? You'd be bored stupid. Yeah, I know, but then... So you would be absolutely bored stupid. I think what I would... <laughs> You'd only go on holidays so many times. I think what I would do was print out all the patterns and everything I've always wanted, get all the wool, and then employ people to knit it all for No, me. you would not! You lazy! I enjoy... You would get bored. I would, I do enjoy knitting, but sometimes I want things and I can't be bothered. £170 million watch this spin. When I don't want all that. I wouldn't want all that money. When's the draw? Tomorrow A million night. would be fine. Two hundred thousand would be fine. I was just fine. about to say, I think a hundred thousand would yeah, be fine. Yeah, I'd be happy for with me. that. Two hundred thousand, I'd be happy with that. You're not greedy. I would hate. Can you imagine one hundred and seventy million pounds? No, <gasps> that is just too much money. You'd have to give. You'd have to give some of it away. Yeah, but I mean, doesn't you'd so have to give it to your family, your friends, or else you're there with one hundred and seventy million pound. You'd want your friends and family to like enjoy it as well, wouldn't you? But then, what do you do? Say. Well, there's, there's half a million. Pounds. Here's half a million. But what do you mean yeah. half a million? You've got 175. That's why I just think it yeah, becomes a bit of Yeah, but then they're not your real a... friends, are they? No. But, I mean, even family, I think yeah. it's how much would you give? It's hard, isn't it? I mean, think how many bus trips your dad could have. <sighs> he could buy his own bus. He's going to Blackpool soon. Before yeah. Yarndale, he's Before got... Before Yarndale. I mean, he could... He could have his own bus with his own driver. He'd love it, wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he, he would want all his friends there, though, because that's the point of it for him, yeah. isn't it? He could have his own plane. Could have his own plane. <gasps> can you JJ, imagine, having, just can you imagine having your own plane? I, I mean, like that would it. be the ultimate. Well, I would, because then if he didn't like things, he could just say, just turn it around, matey, and let's go back. Do you think it's that easy? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. With air traffic control. Probably yeah, we've not. changed our mind. We're coming back. Yeah, but you should. You could land at a different airport. You yeah. could say, right, I'm flying over here. Can we just radio up and say... We're like just popping down yeah, like to Wickenby, <laughs> which is a tiny little airstrip near us. Can you imagine having your own plane? I don't think I'd like it. You could buy me one instead. I, I think I would like it. I think you'd if quite... It, if it was at private airfields. But I don't like... I yeah, don't... but when you have that much money, I bet you go through, like, your security and all that, what, you'll get whisked through. That's what I was thinking. I hate... Because you think, well, I fly at 12, so I need to be there at 10, so I need to leave at 9. You'd have to go from private airfields, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. That, but you must have to have bags of money to do that. You must have to be a billionaire to do that. Do, do you, you reckon so? I don't know. No, I, I don't think I'd find out. I think I'd prefer a helicopter than an aeroplane. Maybe, obviously, not to go long distance. Oh, can you imagine though no, being able to go to sleep on a plane, laid down, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? This time next year, Rodney. Yeah. You just don't yeah. know, do you? You watch. You, you, never, watch. you never know. You've got to be in it. Well, you need to go and buy yourself it. a I'm ticket. I'm going to go and buy myself. I never do. I very rarely do it. I do You're going to make me go and buy I do one the on the way I do the postcode lottery. because I do the postcode lottery and I do premium bonds. <gasps> I've won. You do quite well on your premium bonds, don't well, you? Well, I didn't. I didn't win anything. And then somebody at work said to me, you have to don't buy it. I just put like 50 quid a month away because they said don't do that I'm telling everyone that my trade secrets now whisper to me take it all out and then put it in back in as a lump sum because then you your tickets oh, are all in a block you get on the sequential numbers yeah well I did that six months ago and in the last six months I've had three twenty-five pounds I've got some premium bonds do you know how many I've got is it worth you taking them out and putting them back in a lump sum I think I've had them since I was born I think I've got Two pounds worth or something. But you've got to be in it to win it. I'm, I've never won anything on it. Well, I mean, I... I rarely win anything. I only had them recently. But it seemed to have worked. I've taken them out and I've won £75 in six months. I've won a couple of £10. Which is more than I'd get in a bank. Won a couple of £10 on the postcode lottery, that's it. Never win anything. I so think maybe. I've won £10 on the postcode lottery. If we're not lottery. here next in the next in two, two weeks, weeks, it's because 
I've won no, the because we'd sh- we'd still we'd still do this. Of course we would. I'd be in shock. But we would then be employing someone. What would instead of like the sun coming through and I mean we'd be in a studio. We'd be mic'd up. We'd, I'd have a carry a, on. I'd have hair and makeup. No, get away. I would. <laughs> well, I'm saying when I say hair and makeup, if I won the lottery, I would go to the hairdressers every day. Really? Just have oh, it washed and dried. God, I couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah, I know. I hate going to the hairdresser. Well, you I can see my hair. Would you honestly oh, want... Oh, I, I, honestly, I would... Maybe not every day, maybe every other day, I would go and have my hair washed and blow-dried. No, I hate the hairdressers. Yeah, you I do. I really like it. I wouldn't mind somebody massaging my face. I quite, quite, quite enjoy reflexology. I enjoy reflexology, yeah. but I still don't think I'd go more than... Once a week would be nice. Once a fortnight, maybe. <laughs> the swimming pool would be nice. I like a swimming pool. That would be lovely. That well, would be like my tree. I wouldn't really be want like fancy car. No, just a nice car. But I, I don't see the point in going out and like buying cars that are like hundreds of thousands of pounds. I don't understand it. Gets you from A to B, doesn't it? How much more? How how much better can a car be that's like two hundred thousand pounds to a car that's worth twenty grand? Yeah, but that we know good to us because those cars that are worth £200,000 are like sports cars. Where the hell do we put all the wool? How do we tow the trailer? Winnie Big or... Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. We could have a portable Winnie Big or no, the wool. We can go back to my original idea that I had two years yes. ago. A double-decker bus. Double-deckers, the double-deckers. Downstairs is your shop. Yeah. Upstairs, Knit and Natter's workshops. Oh, I'd love Travel that. Travel around the country. I'd love that. County. Because we live in rural Lincoln. Well, in we Lincoln, could have a driver. Oh, well, you'd enjoy driving I would it, enjoy it. driving it. You'd enjoy just it. Just imagine that going to... I found that, that, I found to... that um, mini spider just about to Is crawl it... into my ear. Oh, no, hang on a second. Has it gone in? No, it's on your glasses. glasses. There you oh go. my palm, oh my palm, oh my palm. Oh, why over your palm? Because that's where it's supposed to be for look. The money spider goes over your palm. Is it? Yeah, here you look. Oh, where's he gone now? Do you not like that? It's on him. Oh no, I didn't realize he had to go over your palm. Put him over my palm. I won't run over yours. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. Well, what can you? Oh, yeah, you'd enjoy driving the bus, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, do you not think? Do you not think, ladies and gentlemen, why was I going to say, do you not think, ladies and gentlemen, do you not think that when you have one of those big air horns, uh, uh, living in rural communities, that, and I think people it's a brilliant idea. can't get out, where are you going to be today? Well, this morning we're going to be in Navenby, Navenby, and then this afternoon we're going to be in Basingham, both villages near Lincoln, that I can't have, can't imagine have anything like that. Come on, have. Tea and cake. There you go. That's what we're going to do with £175 million. Pound. A double-decker bus that's... <gasps> in, we could even have it painted answer. up. You know, we were talking the other day, like, having the... Um, oh, we've got that board, haven't we, for the um, selfie board for the yes. dad. And we had the um, the boards made up of our coral reef, knitted. Yes. Oh, we could have a double-decker bus with wool on, couldn't we? That has just reminded me. Have you... Oh, have you been looking at... Oh my God! You, when did you get that? I've had to hide that from you for a week and a half. So, a week last Saturday, I got my phone and it'd got a hairline crack in it, but it was three and a bit years old. It doesn't hold its charge. So, I thought I need a new phone. And because my phone was so old, I couldn't get one. So, it's changed colour. So, I thought I need a new cover. So... For less than four pounds. No. Where the hell did you get that done for four pounds? eBay. Three ninety five. <gasps> I've. You can personalise it with anything. So people put pictures of their children and loved possessions. <laughs> I went with our coral. Reef. Now imagine a double decker bus. And we're not. I mean, if we won one hundred seventy million pounds, we're not just talking about a little duck. I mean, we could have the dogs just... watsits of double decker buses, couldn't we? You know that even take that would probably look at and go, oh. "Ladies, we need to come and on that bus," which you're very welcome to. Um, can you imagine? Right. So we've spent, we've spent, we've spent a little bit there, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want a fancy car, but a nice double decker bus that we can convert into a bit of a. That's what we could do. Matter. All of our customers would get personalised phones with whatever. 
wool you wanted. I mean, just how nice is that? Can you imagine? Anyway, so we sorted. I'll have a swimming pool. You want somebody to come and kill all the moths in your house? Yep. Yeah. And a double decker bus. Yeah. And mum yeah. wants to, mum wants to come and she would swim every day, but you'd have to be in the pool with her because she won't go in them. swimming pools if there's no one else in there. That's not a problem. She could come and do that. So, but if you go, if you pretend to get out, she does have a little panic attack and. We all, we all have our foibles balls and hers is empty swimming pools. She watched Jaws too many times or something. God knows what she's watched. Is she... So she'll say, if we ever go away... Um, she's swimming swim though, can't oh, she? Oh, she's a confident swimmer. She will swim all day, every day. Does she go in the sea? Yeah. If you if she thinks this bite... I don't know what... I think she thinks she's going to get sucked down the drains or... I don't know what she yeah, thinks. Yeah, because that happens all the time, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Anyway. A bit like them killer moths. Well, we all have our little... Yeah, well, I do, so I'm not even going there. Yeah. So, this just back to is... some knitting. Yeah, this is really, 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 really pretty. This is oh. my Buccaneer shawl. I think I've just got Look. to that big expanse of midnight. Hang on a minute, let me put this behind it and you can see the colour better. <gasps> Look at that midnight, the tones in it. So I'd done the colours last time. Oh my lord. And they're all our um, neon minis, aren't they? And I can't see. So now I'm just coming to do... Go back. The... Uh, oh, I'm just showing off my next thing. <gasps> so you do... That's lovely. Look at those like colours. They're fat waves and then you come and do... Thin waves. Thin waves. <gasps> so that's... I thought... I'd only, I didn't think I'd got to the colour last time. But Scotland, you could get a castle in Scotland. They're quite like God Scotland and Stainer Castle. All I've done is done. But it's just, it was 80 rows of just... How many stitches have you got on your needle? 180 rows. Oh, that's nothing. So it has, it grew. You increased until you got to really pretty. the top of your colour work. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, let's do it without all the edges that are not edges. Ends. Oh, well, that's really pretty. I like that. Doesn't look like a pair of underpants anymore. No. So I oh, think I like in the that. winter it's going to be even summer. Well, yeah. You wear that if you went out in the with a black dress yep. or something. That would look really pretty. The cut. Oh, you, oh, you could wear a highlighter dress. I just want you? the. I just want the. There, the sun's that's gone it. In. There. <gash> you that found the sun to go in. It went I in. Didn't go in some. What power? So I really am enjoying that. So I've got like it. four more colour repeats in the, th they're, they're six rows each, so that's 24 more rows, and then another load of black. It's really nice. I'm getting bored. Like but that. I'm kind of like pushing on because that's why I've not done as much on my socks. Because Really neat. This is... Look at you go. I know. So that's really all, that is the only thing I've been knitting this in the last two weeks. Well, I'm desperate. Last time I told you about a knitted oh, yes. um, animal book. Well, um, that was, you'd just been. Yeah. You'd just seen Iris yeah. with it, hadn't you? And it, I said, I think it's called Knitted Animals. And it is. It's called Knitted Animal Friends by Louise Crowther. I mean, just, just look at their faces. I mean, they are. Can I, what? Look at the ones on the back. Because I think they're I think they're really cute. Look at them. And look at it's the clothes. I mean I mean look at this is Dorothy the mouse. Look at Dorothy's clothes. Hello, 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 why do you Dorothy? Look at Dorothy's clothes and look at the little shoes. Now I very, very rarely advocate well not maybe advocate's the wrong word. I very rarely think I like that. I'm going to do that in exactly that colour and that wool. They, These, I think they are, you'd have to go with. I mean, I mean, look at that cardigan. I would wear a cardigan like that now. Can't see where I am. Look, got carrots on. Can I just, I've just seen. There's, it's one of the most that. beautiful animal, knitted animal books I've ever seen. I mean, seen. that is just a jumper. It's like a proper look jumper. At the detailing. Yeah. It's a, so I'm, I've got the wool to knit the animals, oh. and I'm going to use our four-ply um, minis to make the clothes. To do the clothes, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Maybe when, you know, I mean, when I'm on my Leah jet or 
wherever we are in a castle in Scotland right, or on a double what, decker bus. This is what you need. You need a shelf somewhere so yeah. you can knit them all. I, I would quite like them as sort of ornaments. Yeah. Yeah. I but think on a really shelf pretty. like that. Yeah, I think they're really pretty. I love them. And I love the book. The book's nice. It's just the detail. You've not knit any yet, so you don't know what oh. the pattern's like. But it does. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I just go back to that sheet. That is. Look at Harry the Ram. Harry Ram has done. Look at. I mean, look at that jumper. They are. I have to say. I they mean, are. I don't. They don't want me. They don't make me think. Oh, I really want to knit that because they're too fiddly and too many parts. But they're actually they do knit look flat. really cute. You knit them flat. Yeah, but you've got two arms, two legs. A head, a body, two ears. I mean, that's eight different things. Some of them have got tails. <gasps> They're really cute. They are really cute. Well, that's me sorted, along with everything else that I need I mean, to. But look at the detail. Yeah, they are. I mean, look at that little handbag. Look at the detail there. Fab. That is really nice. So that book is, um, I got this one off Amazon, so it's Animal Knitted, Knitted Animal Friends, but we'll put the link on as well. Yeah. When I say we'll put the link on, I mean Dominique I'll does do that. It. Um, they are really nice. Yeah. I just can't wait to get started on it. And I know so much else it was Iris that had bought the book that you saw, yeah. and I know Iris went into number four on Saturday and bought oh, yeah, I'm sorry. just one or two. Yes. Oh. Of one yeah. or two balls of wool, she'll have them knitted up. I'm Isn't still in it? awe of this. Which iPhone did you go for? Just a 6S, 6 something. I can't, I can't get over that. I can't get over the price of this. I'm going to have to get one of them. Well, I thought that, but I thought... I just... You know I like to surprise you once a podcast so i've had to hide it from us surprise wants a podcast um that's going to be a topic now isn't it surprise me wants a podcast um that is fabulous i, I thought was fabulous um the other thing because i've now what else have you been doing no i've not i've just bought patterns i want to knit and i was just going to show these the ones them. that you're going to get people to knit up for yeah yes. when i win the lottery because when you when you've got like eighty odd rows of just one hundred and eighty one stitches, just like knitting. But hang on a minute, though. If you win one hundred and seventy million pound and you're at the hairdressers every day, oh, I could, you could knit. get it all knitted. Yeah, I could. Yeah, but I mean, oh, I like that. So I've always wanted to do a. It's a Hohi Locatelli. Um, she does boxy. Which, that's what Sarah's just started. Nice, you I know, like Sarah that. wanted yeah, yeah, the yeah. magenta Donny Go. Oh, that's what she's missing. That's what, but the one thing that's put me off is it's a four ply and you need a thousand stitches. Well, this is a worsted weight. Is it ah, is it knitting around? Oh, it's oh I like that. So, I bought, I think there was a um, she did a about a 10% off or something so I went a bit bonkers I just think that's a really it's nice, nice I mean it is you can see how wide it is so I just thought I'd print them off but I just wanted to show people you have gone bonkers haven't yeah. you have you won the lottery no all I've done is bought patterns oh, okay. look at that one that's pretty as well that's more fitted isn't it I like that more fitted but I like the details of the. Like, you've got a top like that, haven't you? You've got that grey one. I, yeah, I mean, buttons it, down. I just thought that looked really nice. Oh, the nosy. Yeah, of course you can. The tourist sweater. Oh yeah, the tourist sweater by I don't know who is that by. Oh, it is. These are all. Georgie Locatelli. Oh, he left. Oh, he Locatelli's. Um, it just looked really nice. They're in our ravelry. Um. I like that. And I think that, that's either got to be worsted, uh, DK or Aaron, because I was only looking for... Um, really nice. And then I've seen... I can't worsted, remember. Worsted, yeah. Not yeah. Worsted. But look at these two. So that, oh, that's nice that's as a well. Cool, that's so a that cow. Picture. Look at that. That is really nice. I like that. She wears a cowl like I do. Really simple <laughs> cowl, but then she's got a Sorry. shawl to go with it. That's really pretty. So it's either the three colour cashmere shawl or the three colour cashmere cowl. cowl. They just looked 
Really, really nice. Nice. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, look at how many stitches you're going to end up with because that's going to be really long and narrow. Have a look, what's it say? But I just, I did go a bit bonkers one night. I sat on Ravelry. That's really pretty. So, that's not going to take too long. I mean, there's only three pages. So the first page is that picture, and the last page is that picture. 483 stitches. 483? Yeah, that's why I need someone to knit it for me. Whereas these... Really pretty. It's not good. I mean, that's like a that. cowl. It should be about 100 odd, 160. It? Yeah. That's less than I'm doing now. But I don't know. That's I just really wanted pretty. to... Nice. Because we were saying today at Knit and Natters, that's where you can... Where else do you get inspiration from? I'm sure we're all the same. We all go through a Ravelry, but sometimes you just don't get inspiration. I but I... You seen... sometimes need to see other people. It's like on Facebook, um, we're on Winnie Mum Knit and Yes. Life. And I get a lot from there because different people are knitting different things. Yeah. And I think, oh, I like that. The grocery girl, and I can't remember which one, either they've knitted one of them or they've knitted both. And that's where I saw nice. it. Really pretty. And it just. So they're in the Ravel, in the Ravel with me. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's four, pa I've bought four patterns there. And I. She didn't want the lottery. No. New thorn. Yeah, I know. Patterns. I know. You've got a skirt on today. No, I've got a, yeah. It's gone bonkers. Your hair looks nice for me. So the hairdresser's even more <laughs> recently. No. Maybe she's won this lottery. No, I haven't. No, because if it was, look, it wouldn't be. Don't look. Don't look. I can it's, see it there when you pull it, but I've. We uh, were just talking about how I'm great. Trying to, I'm trying had, to resist. I doing need to put colour on my, my hair. Look, at, look, look, look how white that was there. Look, look. Oh, look at that. I'm trying but to. But that does look like scalp as well. Yeah, probably. I'm uh, I'm not dyeing my hair. I'm going to see how it goes, but I have been using blue shampoo. I mean, look at that. That is properly... I'm using blue shampoo just to see how it goes, and just... It seems to have taken that orange out a little bit. It definitely bit. has. So, it definitely um, has. I'm using, yeah, um, Fanola blue shampoo that gets rid of orange. So I'm trying it. Well, see if it works. Can't look any worse than it did. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. You change your hair all the time, though. Not intentionally sometimes, but... Um, so, that, yeah, so uh, I was getting bored knitting, so I thought, I know what I need. I need some inspiration. New pattern. And I am going to. I don't know what to do that in. That is going to be... So what's it in? Double knit? It's Yeah, well, worsted, but double knit. Oh, nice. I want to see how many... What's it knitting on that? On oh, the body seamed version. That must mean there's a in oh, the round could... version. Seamless body, seamless. Oh, so you could do a seamed one and you could, you, and that wouldn't do as many stitches. It might do a face, yeah. Yeah, but then you want to do two. Yeah, but it no, depends but look, on you, how many stitches. Even, even, because I'd need, I've not looked, I probably, I definitely need one of the bigger sizes, but the biggest size is only 268 stitches. Oh, that's not bad. So that's I'm guessing not it's bad. knit. Bottom, it is. It's knit bottom up. I like it. It's just a bit wide for me. It I don't is. like things too too baggy on the top. I really like it though. I really like it on other people, and then I put it on, and I just look silly. Well, I'm not sure what it's gonna. It's really it nice. Is, it is oversized, but I kind of feel like a lot of people when I've like watched podcasts and things, people talk about. They just say I like how the comfy. detail on the sleeve. It's got like yes. a twist on the sleeve. It's a drop it's really, sleeve. Really and pretty. pretty. Like yeah, well, we'll see. So I just Watch need some space. That would be nice. What colours you fancy doing? Jane? No idea. That's going to be the next thing. I mean, I quite like that grey. Mm. Yeah, that is nice. Because then I think, I mean, I normally I go for colour. It's nice with grey with that bit of green in it. Yeah, nice. I don't know what, what she is it Malibrego? Yeah, it is yeah. Malibrego. It won't be done in that, but. So did you um, get watching this in while you were watching the cricket? No, because I wasn't watching it because it was on Sky. I don't have Sky. Um, I was listening to it and then I had to stop listening to it because it was giving me palpitations. So then I was listening to the football thinking, 
They just kept saying, now we'll go I mean, back to Headingley. I'm thinking, there we go, it's all over. They need 80 to win. They need 60 to win. They need 40 to win. And then when the football finished, they went, it's getting so excited, we're going to listen, go back to the cricket. Oh, my God. That was worse than the World Cup final. Because with the World Cup final, you were watching it. Where is that? Well, I thought there must be something going on because I was in the garden doing oh, something you? and I could, all of a sudden I heard this roar. So it must have been one of the pubs nearby. And I thought, oh, something on? Yeah, because I don't... Oh, my God. Don't it really was... watch, I watched it at Dad's on the Saturday with my brother. Yeah. I think I was annoying them because I was just... I watch it. I know what's going on, but I was just watching it going, hmm. So I was making the... Cup. My brother was like saying, oh, yeah, you should have been doing such and such. And I was like, oh. So I think after nine them Well, Dad and I, we went to the first game of the season at Grimsby on Saturday, um, and they'd lost two wickets on the way there. So Dad and I said at two o'clock on Saturday, well, it'll all be over by the time we come out. What did they win by one wicket? Yeah, and it was half past four, five o'clock on the Sunday that it finished. So when are you there? So where they're on. Next Thursday. Thursday. So the Which fourth, day is that? Second day. Second day. So the fourth test starts at Old Trafford on Wednesday and Dad and I have got tickets and on Dad Thursday. was saying, and I didn't know whether you, I said you've got tickets and he said, is she, got, is she going to Old Trafford? And I said, I'm sure it's not Manchester. Yeah, it is. It's Old Trafford. So I was wrong. Sorry, yeah. Dad. Because then we're wrong. back at the, the last games at the Oval. So Dad and I said on Saturday, well, we're, oh, Dad was going, well, we've bought these tickets. Well, and of course, now we're like, well, there's something to play for. So, That'll be good. In fact, I can take my socks there. Yeah, we okay. can. Well, I just think if you if you win this hundred and seventy million pound, maybe you could drive your bus there. Yeah, but it's next Thursday. Oh, hundred and seventy million pounds! You could buy a bus the next day. Do you think you'd get it straight away? You need your you need your PSV license, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think you'd be able to spend the money straight away. People would be just throwing things at you. I've just won £170 million. Pounds. I think there you go, get... Miss Salisbury. Just take it away now. I think I'd get the train there instead of driving. You think you'd get the train there instead of driving? You could have a chauffeur. Yeah, but... I wouldn't want a chauffeur. I wouldn't. I'd rather you did it. <laughs> well, we... Because there's this big event on in Bourne at the weekend, we had to spend all day there yesterday and driving the routes. Well, Clive drove... One car, well, I'd be in the passenger and oh. Matt Reed, mm -hmm. and I'm not a good passenger. Well, this lap was about 55 miles long. <gasps> I, I mean, properly in the we middle of nowhere. Me. When we got back to Bourne um, Station, I was like, I'm not drive. I'm gonna we stopped, and I was like, I can't go in anymore because we had to be. Does he not know that you have to drive? Yeah, but he's not very good either. So then we oh, swapped. Oh, for heaven's sake! The pair of you. So I'm in the control room over the weekend, so I don't need to do any of the driving, and he's driving, and the other two were fine. But yeah, it was not good. So having a chauffeur, I don't think. No, you would be no good with the chauffeur. You know when you watch the bodyguard, and she sat in the back with a laptop or all her papers. I mean, you no. Know. That would not be me. If I was Home Secretary, I would not be working. Would you want to be Home Secretary? If I couldn't do a worse job, that's all I'm going to say. Something happened the other day at work, and someone said something about a Defence Secretary. I mean, I haven't. Who's the Defence Secretary? And everyone was going, Is it so and so? Is it. So? No, they got replaced by. Well, there were about four names got. Yeah, because it was Penny Morgan, wasn't she? And she got replaced by. I can't even remember who it was. I think, now. is he called Ben? I know he was in the armed forces. I can't. I have no oh, idea. No. So that kind of just shows you what a state the country's in. Nobody knows who the MPs are. It could be fine. It could all be fine. fine. I've just been watching garbage on the television. What have you been um, watching? I caught up on Paul Dark. Oh, I so see. I've never seen any of them. Well, I I had watched all the other series, and just like it's easy watching. Oh. So I caught up on that, but I was a bit disappointed how it ended. I don't know Is why. Is it ended forever? Yeah, it's just ended forever. I don't know, I was a bit disappointed, but never mind. Um, and then I watched the first episode of the new season of Peaky Blinders. Yeah, don't watch that. You know, because everyone's raved about the, the series as a whole. I love the series as a whole. I don't know whether it was just the first season, the first one back, I don't know. I mean, it's as Killian Murphy, and so it's um, fine by me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It went all a bit weird. 
I mean, it is a bit odd sometimes, but it just went a bit weird. Right. Um, and then, of course, I've been watching my garbage on. I haven't watched Netflix for ages. So I was back on Netflix and um, an American series. I like watching American, you know, cheesy, cheesy, American cheesy, everybody's happy, yeah. romancy, um, family, drama, it, Chesapeake Shores. If you like watching banal stuff that you don't really have to watch, it's quite good. I think it's the fourth season. Right. And it's all about family, family dynamics, drama. Yeah, so I watched that. It's quite good. Well, you've got me on to Private Eyes. Yeah, Private Eyes. But I can't get seasons one and two. So I think I've watched about five episodes of season one, none of season two, and I've jumped, jumped straight into season three. Um, of course, you haven't got Sky, have you? No. We'll have to download it and come and watch it here. Well, uh, it's, uh, I'm sure I will eventually see them. It's not the end of the yeah. world that I've not seen them, but now I've just got gone straight into series three and I I'm don't watching think that. I've, I've watched much, much else. I was I just thinking, I haven't watched much television. Oh, um, did you watch Designated Survivor? Yeah. Is that series three on now? Oh, I have no idea what series we're on. I mean,. That is good. It started off quite well, and then it's just like with repetition. Yeah, but that's it? the same with all of them, isn't yeah. it? That's I want. Yeah. To, I think season three's that soon, and I want to. Yeah, yeah, but it'll be the same because I like. I just keep expecting Keeper Sutherland. To Thank talk. you. I can't think of his name. I've got twenty four hours. Yeah, because when he do, did twenty four. You see, that was another one I loved, but yeah. that just went on oh, and on and on. Just got ridiculous, didn't it? After a while. Oh, yeah. what's going to happen now? Oh, he's got 24 hours, you know. Yeah. He's got 24 hours to save. Well, he's in an absolutely no escape situation. Oh, but of course, he's just found an unexploded yeah. bomb that he's going to Mr. T into oh, or the something twists else. And turns. Oh, and I watched. Um, sorry, I'm just rubbing my eye. Um, I watched Murder Case. Oh, yes. That was really good. That's on really BBC. That. BBC, real life. Yes. Um, following um, Scottish police, wasn't it? Yes. Really good, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Sad, but yeah, it was very good. That was really interesting. Um, apart from that, I don't think else. I've been listening to podcasts, I've been listening to Agatha Raisin. Oh, yeah. On um, With Penelope Keith. It's you really were funny. just saying, really you were saying you've just started listening to the audio books, and someone at work's wife has got all of the books, so I've just started yeah, reading the yeah. book. And then Having I've, seen all of the. I've been listening TV to the BBC series. Sound. App and I didn't realise there's loads of books and plays on there. Oh, there's loads on there. So I've been listening yeah. to some of them to send me off to sleep. You see, I listen to Tail Enders, which is a cricketing podcast, yeah. which is Greg James. Yeah. Very nice. Jimmy Anderson. Very nice. <laughs> and Felix White, who I'd not known until then, he was in the Maccabees. Somebody was saying that um, the Peter Couch podcast is supposed to be really good. Ah, uh, yes. But he irritates me, so that's why I don't listen to him. Okay, fine. You have to look at nineties. Yeah, they're just like Gandhi. I I have listened to bits of it. I don't know why. A little bit like this is a loosely knitting podcast, but we ramble about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a loose cricket podcast that they talk about anything as well. well. We're but... watching League of League of the Rome the other night. Oh. Did you see the one where Romesh was um, where they gave him the um, stomach cramps? To replicate giving birth. No. Oh my. Oh no, I didn't see that. It was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. He's not very good with anything. Yeah, I was going to say with yeah. anything. It was funny. If Did you, you see him see. do the one where he had to walk? A, that, that like lifted a, a balance beam, effectively, but about twenty foot in the air, and he had to walk along the balance beam. And then, like, jump. jump. I saw that and he missed it. And, but he, I mean, it took him a lot. I mean, yeah. he was braver than I because yeah. I'm not sure I could yeah. do it. But Freddie did it and yeah. was just like, yeah, yeah okay. Just went and did it. But it was funny. Yeah, it was really funny. It must be the new one that's just quite Who's yeah. hosting it? James Corden. Oh, right. that's not the new one because the oh, new one that's about to come out, he's got guest present. He's got guests. Oh, right. Well, it's the most recent one that's on right. Sky that I watched it. Yeah. Right. It was, it, yeah, it was very funny. Yeah. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. But Anything else? Have you done anything else while have, we've rambled for nearly have, an I hour? I've done anything else. No, because I went up to see family in the North East at the weekend. Um, what else have I been up to? Can't think. No, no. Can't think. I don't know where we are. It's, it's always, I lose track of days when we've had a bank holiday. I never know where we are and what we're doing and who we are. Who am I? Where am I? Yeah. 
and the weather, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Doesn't sound it doesn't I sound like me grandma. Don't know what day it is. Baba. Don't know. Baba. You like Miranda's parents. Yes. The Christmas Such one. Fun. No, the Christmas one we go. You never know. You never know what day it is. Don't know. You just You don't need know. your TV time. Exactly. You used to get your TV time. Yeah. I've been talking to Miranda, I was laughing because um Grace had been to work and she'd been back again and she'd been out and this apple was with her all the time and I said, Is that your friend? These apples you must have had in a week and it just kept coming was out of the bag. Little apple. I nearly drew some face on it and then I thought mm, That's I really do need it. to watch Lucifer with Yeah. We've you gone do. Miranda, we've gone Tom yeah. Ellis. Yeah. The new series on Netflix. Is it on Netflix or is it on Amazon? I don't know. Can't remember. Netflix. Um, yeah, a bit more racist than it used to be. I mean, it's, it's utter Well, bonkersness. but it's Tom Ellis, isn't it's it? It's Tom Ellis, yeah. Even with his guy liner. Quite buff in this one. Well, so I, that's what his, I need to watch. You see lots of his bottom as well. So you do need to I just need it. to say, and I've meant to say when we podcast two weeks ago, it's the only time, you've changed, Marie's got a digital clock in the kitchen, which is right in front of me, and that she's changed it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and I can't believe it. I haven't it. changed it. Oh, you, you, you knock 30 off and, and divide it by two. So you knock 30 off 82, which is 52, 52. Two, and then you divide it by 2, so that's about 27, 6. It's roughly around this 25 is, to 27. This is maths with Dominique and Marie. Yeah, but I don't like it. I'm I don't sorry. like it, and I don't know how to change it. Was that the electric, Mr. Hammond? No, the electric went off the other night, didn't it? No, but it was like that two weeks ago. I think it's because David had the electric on and off, and it's just... Isn't it bizarre? People's talking Fahrenheit, and I don't really know. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, that it's just du- to convert it to Fahrenheit, it was always double it and add thirty, and it's roughly about there. So to do it the other way, you did minus thirty and divide by, by two. two. Well, there you go. You see, you learn something new every day. That's yeah, because you're not old enough to remember. I always remember it as Fahrenheit. Do you? Yeah. You know, it's hot when it was in the eighties. I thought Fahrenheit was new. Fahrenheit's old. Oh. Celsius is what everything's in now. Yeah, but I, again, I always thought f- people are now talking in Fahrenheit, so I'm thinking, well, that's clearly like the no. kids. I remember when I was a kid, it was always, it's 80 degrees. Oh. Well, there you go. Anyway. Well, when we're coming out of Europe, though, it could end up as anything, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. We're, we're going gonna... to need a new scale. We're going to need a new We're going to need a Boris pounds, scale. Pounds and ounces, maybe, do you think? And yeah. Threepenny bits. Yeah, let's go back to some shillings. Neither of us are old enough to know that. Remember tuppence? that? Tuppence? Don't know. I can't remember. I know you need tuppence to feed the birds. Tuppence a bag. Tuppence a bag. What was that in Dunwick? That was um, Mary Poppins. Yay! Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah, I've seen Mary Poppins. Good Lord. Yeah. That's outside the bank. Don't they go to the bank? Happens the bag. Yeah, the little old lady. Yeah, with a bag. Happens the bag. Oh my. <laughs> right. Let's go fly a kite. That was in that as well. Yeah, I did. That was one of my favourite ones. Mr. Banks. Anyway, we digress. Yeah, yeah we digress. We've got a anything lot. of any relevance to talk about. I feel like we've spoken more rubbish than usual because we've not really shown you a lot, but. These are my fault, but just look at them. And we are off now to go and buy a lottery ticket. Yep. And Scooby's crying. Scooby's crying, he wants attention. So, lottery ticket. Yeah, lottery ticket. I shall... Can you get one from Steve's? Yeah, I'm going to walk. Shall we walk down? We'll go walk, get a lottery ticket. A nice one, wee. I need a wee, so we need to go. Right. Right. We shall see you in a fortnight. See you in a fortnight. Bye. Bye.